Getting this Subaru race ready. Basically, uh, we're stripping out a car for this first project. So stripping out a car, getting it ready, taking all the, the glass out, um, putting in a um, seat belts, um, uh, uh, a bar in the back of the driver's seat for safety, um, and and then eventually we'll be painting her up and um, and uh, selecting someone. Um, that they, they would like to drive in it. When completed, the car will be able to race at a demolition derby at the Central Motor Speedway on Sandflat Road. But there's a lot of work to be done before that glorious day. Just basically, you know, following rules, um, identifying what we need to do to get the, uh, the car up to, uh, up to spec, um, all the rules and regulations, um, and, uh, yeah, basically... To get, to, to get the car completed from start to finish. Among those taking part are Year 9 people's Matty Paranihi and Trent Ainsley, who say taking part in this hands-on project is helping them at school. We've took out all the windows and seats, except for driving seat in the car, and um, we, yeah, that's about it. We just yeah, made it safe for the motion derby. Well, it's real fun, and I, it's like, it's actually quite hard, so I like that and um, I've been getting in this trouble at school so it's working. Former rugby player and sprint car racer Fitu Taiwa says the boys have taken the car as a work in progress out to the local speedway track for a bit of fun but he says they've got to stay safe. Um, something that they're still sort of trying to get to, um, to grips with. Um, we've been out to the track a couple of times and, and had a wee skid but um, you know safety does come first. Taiwa says the pupils have agreed on a set of rules and if they step out of line, they know they won't be allowed to continue with the project. The job of working on the car is set to continue into next year with the aim to have it ready for next year's demolition derby in March. In Cromwell, The South Today.